Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name, sheep's the game. We are here at Loch Head Shield, the Scottish Blackface Championships. Let's mingle with some shearers. Let's go. Richie, it's uh, great to see you back at the shows. Uh, how are you feeling about today? Uh, very nervous, actually. There's a lot of people who haven't seen me when they're here. <laughs> Uh, who are you here shouting on today? Robbie. Yeah, Robbie, yeah, you're just good answer. Good a or me, you could have said either, it would have been the right answer. Me as well, eh? Yeah, yeah some last, some last. Ross, uh, how did you feel uh, your speech here last night beating Jack Fagan off the board? Ah, just one of these things that happens, you know? Just an all day at the office for Ross Gibson. Aye, well, that's it, aye. He beat you in the end, but... Oh, well, yeah. Aye, but still. It's what happens when you get disqualified, isn't it? <laughs> So, part of the success with my shearing so far this year has been these combs that Simon's keeping right for me. But I see Stuart is in here getting a comb. I'm going to have to have a word with Stuart about this because uh, Simon's my gear guy. Right, can I get the good one now, Simon? <laughs> I knew that plan would work. I sent him over here. I was like, aye, aye, aye. Oh, great comb, mate. That'll be great. Okay, so the shearing has kicked off here. It's a, a difficult competition this one, I'll show you the sheep here and I'll talk as we go. The shearers are shearing Scotch black face as I mentioned earlier. These are kind of hill type hogs, they're smaller, they can be a little bit cottier, they can quite often a wee bit more backbone but they, they look in good fettle. I don't want to get too close to these young shearers, intermediates are on here, I don't want to put any pressure on them. So just to talk through what's actually happening, I didn't really explain that in the last competition video. It's this judge here that's watching this shearer for any second cuts. So that's essentially, if he leaves a ridge of wool on and goes back over it, he gets a stroke, he gets a mark for that. And a second cut is literally any piece of wool that is cut twice. So if I show you a bit like this here, that's only been cut once. Just a cut at the bottom here, no cut at the top. But an example of maybe like a second cut might be something like this, where the fibres have been cut on either side. So that, if you take a, a bit like that off, because you missed it the first time and you didn't keep the comb in the skin, you get a mark. And the reason for that is because it devalues the fleece. So that's what this judge is doing here. Timekeepers are over here keeping time, so the time is a factor. And then if we go round the back here, behind the stand, we'll see David Scott there, our intermediate shearing champion. He'll be the, the hot favourite for today. So round the back here, the shearers, once they're finished, they come round and they turn the sheep for the next heat. And we've got judges like Kieran here, who will then watch for the sheep coming down. Kieran, of course, a former World Championship finalist, knows what he's about. He'll then look at these sheep, any bits of wool left on, will be a stroke, any cuts, this is a slight wee nick on this sheep here, that'll be a stroke. Overall though, that's a fairly well shown sheep, apart from the wee nick there on the side. Okay, Lizzie's shearing up now. Where are we shearing? Stand 3, Lizzie. So stand 3 here. I get to be a pen man today. Very excited. Have the nerves kicked in yet, Lizzie? No, not too bad, eh? You're getting, you've done that many shows now, no bother, eh? Mm-hmm, yeah, She seems nervous to me, I better not annoy her. Just breaking the side of the belly here so that when Lizzie shears that she can pop it out nice and easy. The necks are good on them, don't need much work here. Just open it up a wee bit. Yeah, yeah. Lizzie's got quite a tough heat here. We've got Katie Reid, Parcel, Thomas Muirhead, all up against us here. As I said before, you've got your judge here, Wally Shaw. He's watching for any second cuts there. It's a, a dangerous bit of a blackie sheep back coming around the neck because there's always a wool pull. Thomas making a good job over there as well. He's on good form just now, shearing well within himself. Nice to see that he's bonding with the brother-in-law here at the shearing. Ali Shaw in his pen. And after Lizzie had made a great job in her intermediate heats, it was straight on to the senior heats, where I did not have a very good shear, which left me scraping through to the semi-final in 8th place. I was only 
away from not making it at all. This is a, what a quarter final this is. Archie Patterson taking his time. Gav Much, Robbie Hislop, Cam Hicks. Robbie, of course, you'll know from Sheeran School. Are you going to be schooling the boys on the board today? <laughs> Girls, how have you been today? How's, how's it been the show so far? Tremendous. It's always, it's always great fun. You are the unsung heroes of the, the shearing shows. Yeah, you wouldn't expect any less from us, would you? No. no. Awesome. So, Rosie, your uh, Will Hanlon final? Yeah, no, it was cool. It was really cool. It was... Did you win? I don't think so. I, I, Audrey was um, I, on top there. She was. I feel like that will be credible information, seeing as your mum does the scores. Oh, well, they should be right then. <laughs> they will not be wrong. <laughs> Greeting. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, I'll get you in there a sandwich. Just keep getting your sandwiches. Right, hang on. Sandwich camera. Quarterfinals kicking off, this boy's going mental. Into it, boy. Into it, into it. Is that you been out in the rain? Um, Is it wet out there? Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's go and have a wee look at this then. Jeez. There obviously is a lot of rain happening. Is it still going on? Yes, it is still. Doug's got a single sausage here. Classic. Well kept for it. <laughs> Just, oh, and we'll get some miserable weather out here. Right enough. It's fair wet here. Hamish is just sorting out a comb here, they must be in the final. I'm just analysing these guys, these, these top sportsmen. And, uh, and, see, and you see Gav, Gav's over there, he's just shaking out his shoulder. Holding his shoulder, that's just in case Adam Berry, who's standing there, is looking over. Adam, mind games, mind games, I've seen it all. Like, Hopefully the boys will get a laugh when they see this, I don't want to be ostracised from the big gun community. Okay, so we're just off from the senior final there. Myself, Lewis here was in it as well. I actually felt I felt bad in the heats. I didn't do it. I didn't have a good year, and as you heard, I qualified eight um, into the semi-finals. Just scraped in, just by 0.1 of a point. Uh, so very, very close. Very lucky. And there, I felt a sure better, and I'm. Uh, I actually just feel like I made the final there. Lizzie's got a final to share in too. She made the final. I'm all about me, me, me. I forgot Lizzie made the final at the intermediates, top four, like. What a lassie. And time this goes out, you'll probably know anyway. She's like 16 weeks pregnant. It's like four months. Mad. So we're just waiting to do the draw here for the intermediate final. Lizzie Thompson, how are you feeling, Lizzie? Okay. Yeah, second into the final. No pressure. No, no pressure. Just relax now and share them. Yes. And Davy, how are you feeling, our uh, Highland Show champion? How are you feeling about today? Ah, cool as a cucumber, like. Yeah. Just ready to get into them. Uh, you've obviously you're coming here as champion from the Highland. Different sheep today. 
top, you top golf at third into this. Me up the game a wee bit, pressure's on because Lizzie's right there and <laughs> you know I'll go on about it all yeah. the time. She beat me already, like so, as did you last week in the seniors, so uh, you've got that over me, I'll just shut up. <laughs> Good luck with the show. And thankfully I did make it into the senior final. So here we are up against Emily Takapa, Ryan McLean and Lewis Hartness for the title of senior champion at Loch Ernhead. We share 10 sheep in this final, but to save you watching all of that, let's jump to the last two sheep where the competition gets very intense. One goes now, and look at Ryan McLean. He's managed to sweep, make sweep work. While we were watching the others, he's catching up here, and he's coming down the last side now. Ryan McLean finding us another gear there, and he's catching up. What are we on here? One left in the pen in stand number four. Robbie, you're in the last one left in the pen. Emily's coming down the last side there now. Sam Jacobs just one there. up with some of the boys and yeah I'm saying it's a good day it'll only be a good day if I finish first obviously if not I'll be gutted now because I think I sure will but I know that I spoke to Lewis and I spoke to Emily and Ryan well Ryan said about the time which is fair enough but he still sure will so really could be empties let's get a beer and cut to the results Thank you. Remember your first competition oh, here, eh? Oh, serious. You've come a long way, boy. I was him by 8 o'clock. You have a trophy as well. I, I was last and was him by 8 o'clock. Yeah. I always do it, talk about it. Thanks, thanks so much. Thanks, thanks Rhoda. Cheers. <laughs> you didn't get what? Thanks, Stuart. You're doing great. Right. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Thanks, guys. Then it was on to the open results. Now, I didn't have any footage to share with you guys, unfortunately, because I live streamed it all on Facebook. But in fourth place was Adam Berry from England. Third was the big man Hamish Mitchell. Second was our national champion Callum Shaw. And in first place at Lachernhead Shears, and in just one of those days he was absolutely untouchable, was Gavin Much. What an incredible final it was here at Lachernhead. Amazing. Anyway, that's us for this one, sheep fans. We'll see you for the next one.